everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are back in the Keller kitchen. So today we are going to be making something. I always say his name wrong. I always want to say Hebridine. It's Hebridin, I guess. So I'm probably still saying it wrong. I don't know. But anyways, it's the Hebridin Baker, um, which are basically Scottish recipes. Recipes? Recipes. Recipes. Um, today's recipe is going to be shortbread dips. So this is actually a fairly easy recipe um, to make, um, but it is in basically like grams and ounces and stuff like that. It's in the metric system. So I am going to use my scale again today um, to do this so that um, I can make sure I get the measurements right. Um, so if you don't have a scale, you can look up how to do the conversions on this. Uh, to avert, to convert it into American if that's what you need. Um, otherwise, I would suggest having a scale for something like this because even though there are conversion things to do it, they're not exact. So it's not, it's better usually if you just weigh it out, okay? All right, so the first thing that you are going to need is 300 grams of softened butter. Um, 300 grams does equal about two sticks plus a little bit over six tablespoons. Um, so you can put that in your bowl. Um, also, before you start, which I need to do, you're going to preheat your oven to 340 degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> or um, if you want the Celsius temperature, it's 150 degrees Celsius, okay? You're also gonna need an eight inch cooking uh, pan. Mine's I think is an eight and a half by eight and a half. Um, and you're gonna grease that. So I just went ahead and greased it with some shortening, okay? All right, then you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna have your softened, your 300 grams of softened butter in here. You're gonna add to this 125 grams of, uh, it says castor sugar, just so you all know, I just use regular sugar. Okay, so we need 125 grams. It's probably gonna be at least two of these. And that's 118. Hundred and twenty-five. Okay. So 125 grams of sugar. And you are going to, is that all you put is just this in the sugar? Yeah. And you're gonna cream these together. says until it's pale and fluffy. I'm gonna do this with a mixer as well, most likely. I just decided I didn't wanna do that many dirty dishes, so I'm just gonna use the one bowl. But as long as your butter is softened, this is actually pretty easy. It's not too bad. Okay, there we go. Nice and pale and fluffy. Didn't take too long at all. Okay, so then what you're gonna add to this is you're gonna add uh, 300 grams of plain flour. Oops, sweep that over a little, there we go. Okay, we're at 227 there. Seventy-one. Oh, I don't need that much. Almost there. We're at two ninety-five. There we go. So three hundred grams of regular flour or all per plain flour, whatever you want to call it. Then you're also gonna need 50 grams of corn flour, okay? Oops, I don't have this open yet. There we go. Okay, so just 50 grams of corn flour, let's see. Six. 
Oops, that's actually 51. There we go, 50. Sorry about all the noise in the background. My uh, washing machine is going there. So, and then you're also gonna put in some fine, a half a teaspoon of fine tea, uh, sea salt. Again, I am just using regular salt. going to work this all together but don't overwork it so you're just going to basically work it to oops together until it's combined and then stop okay because I think it'll be easier. Okay. Sure we got everything in the bottom mixed in. Tossing stuff around, guys. Tossing stuff around. There we go. Okay, so now it's looking pretty good. So you've got kind of what looks like kind of like a sugar cookie dough. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Okay. All right. So we got that done. Now you're going to take this and you're going to put it into your pan. going to press it down in there okay so make sure you get it all over and then try to flatten out the top it says to use a spoon do that to flatten out the top. Okay. There we go. So you get a nice flat, kind of looks like a big flat cookie. Okay, let me wash my hands off here real quick. the length of the fingers so I'm guessing you're supposed to kind of like mark where the fingers are gonna where you're gonna cut it maybe I'm not sure so I'm just gonna make little lines they're not super thick so kind of like that I guess I don't know if you can see that Making like a line all the way down. And I'm going to do that across to all of, you know, to make my different fingers here. Okay, and once I get all this done, I'm going to pop this into the oven at 150 degrees Celsius or 340 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes until it's a nice um, pale, uh, pale golden. Um, then you're going to remove it from the oven and you're going to make knife marks. 
Um, you're gonna mark the lines where you're going to cut the shortbread and then leave it to cool in the pan, okay? Also, while it's cooling, or you can do it while it's cooking, whichever one, you are going to need um, two tablespoons of chopped pistachios and two tablespoons of freeze-dried raspberries. Um, and I think you're supposed to chop the raspberries up as well. It doesn't say to, but on the picture, they look chopped up. Um, and then you're also going to need 150 grams of dark chocolate and 150 grams of white chocolate melted in separate bowls, okay? So whether you do that um, on like a double boiler where you put water in the bottom and the bowl of water in the bottom of the pan, put a heat proof bowl on top with the chocolates in there and melt them that way you can do that. I usually melt mine in the microwave, just so you know. So when we come back, I will have that stuff ready as well. And then we will, um, and I'll have these fingers cut out of here and then we will dip them and do all that and try them and see how they taste. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, you guys, so we're back. So our uh, nice little shortbreads are cooled and ready to go. Now I did, when I took them out of the oven, I basically cut down the dotted lines that I had made with the forks and then just cut it in half and you get these nice cute little fingers here, okay? All right, oh, that one just broke. Okay, so what you're gonna do next is you should have chopped up uh, two tablespoons of pistachio nuts and then uh, two tablespoons of dried raspberries. Okay, so I have those. And then you're going to take um, 150, yeah, 150 grams of white chocolate, which is what I have here, and you're gonna melt it either in a double boiler or just do what I did and use the microwave. And then also do the same thing with dark chocolate. I haven't melted my dark chocolate yet. I was gonna go ahead and do the white chocolate first. So, since I just broke this one, which stinks, but it's okay. All right, so what you're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do it over top of it. You're gonna take about a third of the shortbread piece and you're gonna go ahead and cover that with the, using a spoon with some white chocolate or dark chocolate, whichever one you're using. Okay, so just like the one third of the end, I'm putting a little bit, I'm gonna try to seal these back together since it kind of fell apart, okay? There we go. Make sure you kind of get it on there good. And it should cover the sides and everything. I'm kind of spreading it around just to make it a little easier. And then on the white chocolate ones, that's what you're supposed to sprinkle the pistachio nuts on. So just a few, sprinkle a little pistachio nuts on there. Okay. And then you're gonna let that sit and dry. I'm setting mine on parchment paper. So it looks just like that. So I'm setting mine on parchment paper so that I can uh, let it set. Um, and then, you know, it should be easier to get off. When you do the dark chocolate one, you're going to sprinkle it with your chopped up red raspberries, okay? Or raspberries, whatever, dried raspberries, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all done. And then once they're set, I will come back and we will try them and see how they taste. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Hey, you guys, so I have gotten these all with their chocolate on them. So we've got some with white and some with chocolate. Ooh, it's trying to slide. And then the chocolate ones have the chopped up dried raspberries and the white ones have the chopped up pistachios. So they look really good. Um, I will tell you that these are really soft, not super soft, like not like, like it doesn't like fall apart in your hand, but as I was trying to hold them over the bowl, um, sometimes they would break as I was trying to put the chocolate on them. So I would suggest probably putting them down on a pan or something with parchment paper and then put your chocolate on them with the spoon. That way you're not risking them getting broken. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm not, I don't wanna try the dark chocolate one because honestly, I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try one of, see, they just, they fall apart pretty easily. I'm gonna try one of the white chocolate ones. Mmm. Mmm. That's really sweet. It's a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. It's really good. Let's try it without the chocolate. Okay. So the chocolate definitely makes it a lot sweeter. This is still sweet, but not quite as sweet as with the chocolate. 
I would also say that without the chocolate, it's a little bit drier too. I think the chocolate kind of helps to give it a little bit more uh, moisture to it or feel like it has more moisture maybe. But yeah, it's pretty good. All right, you guys. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe if you like or don't if you don't. Everyone have a good day. Enjoy your cooking. Keep your kitchen messy and we'll see you later. Bye.